Because I want you to know God got you like God got us, and we all gonna be all right. But let me just share this with you. I'm telling you this, let me just tell you this. I found one thing out to be true marriage and ministry, <laughs> they spell alike, they have the same meaning, they spell just alike. What you mean it spelled just alike? Can I tell you how it's spelled? It's four letters. W-O-R-K. <laughs> this is work. But it pays off. It's good work. I just want you all know how much I appreciate you all so much. Every time, you know, we go from city to state, I appreciate you all so much. I just want to pour my heart out of love and, and just tell you all how much I thank you. All, all my support. Let me tell you what's happening. All my supporters, I, God, thank you all so much. God has embraced and has graced us to have so many encounters with so many different people which birth network and that's what it's all about networking getting the word out because you want truth to be told all over the world and this is why it is a world book tour and in the book it may sound a little prejudiced but it's not you have been getting a lot of feedback good feedback uh, what made Christians so hypocritical because Christians don't understand when I mean, they ask well, are you a Christian yes I'm a Christian because <laughs> you know you have the um the band cover right what make Christians so hypocritical and Lord knows you see people doing this here like and then when you get to talk talking with them then they understand through by conversation and the reason why I say that, and the reason why it's so important that this book go universal, different languages and all, because it, it's gonna make you have a better understanding, a better view of who you are in Christ. It's gonna uh, broaden your mindset. It's gonna be a true enlightening, enlighten, yeah, enlightenment to your spirit. And it's so much the truth that you can't help but to be set free. Okay, let me just break it down to you. Like, what, what, what do you mean? What, what is all this about? About what makes Christians so hypocritical? Because of the fact, it, it, it hurts my heart, yes, when I go to different states and places and whatever, whatever. It does hurt my heart because so many people, it's like the Bible. You got so many different authors in the Bible and they all say the same thing different timing but still they harmonize together as one saying the same identical thing and i and i find it so hurtful that so many people you know label christians 
like, oh my God, you just wouldn't understand it. Like, you say that they're judgmental, they're too critical, and we're gonna prove the point that's not, I mean, that's not true, you know? Because that means church will have a lot of blood stain on their hand. And, and one of the biggest thing and the greatest thing that really, really, really hurts my heart is that when they start saying that rejection, when they use that word rejection, oh my God, rejection is like abandonment. I'm going to say, no, my cookie. Yes, ma'am. It's like they have been abandoned, you know, by the church because of how they look or what they wear. Or, uh, it's crazy stuff. It's like they're trying to make make people live by the law when we are saved by grace because if the law could have saved us then Christ wouldn't have had no reason to come here and that's why you was I mean I even did a teaching on it and still doing a teaching on that that um, the law not evil it's just sin made the law look evil and the reason why because of the fact we didn't have the power to obey the law and that is what made you know the law look evil because you were stoned you were killed you were all these different things that you could not keep up with the law or keep all the laws that's why now uh, if you have wisdom you would know that and Paul said that if you're trying to measure a person salvation by the law he said well let me tell you somebody he said you better be prepared to be judged the same and even greater Meaning, you better not miss a beat. <laughs> you know, being perfect, if you think that is what's going to get God's attention. That, that'll that never happen. Never happen. Because of the because we're imperfect beings housing a perfect God. And that's what that book breaks down. It breaks down the, the fact that just because of the fact you're saved or a believer or you're a Christian, Understand this. You can't be all spiritual, my babies, in a natural world. You have to learn to balance yourself out. This book is, is so powerful that it's teaching people, you know, what the spirit was created, designed for, uh, and also what the soul created and designed for in the body as well. It's so important to worry about. Once you get that understanding, you, you you don't have to be worrying about being labeled as a hypocrite. That's right. Because in fact, you are you. You understand your, your soul is not just there to just be dormant, just lying, lying dormant. Yeah. Lying dormant. You know, God gave you a soul for purpose, and that soul, you know, only gonna relate to the realm, the earth. That's why you like pretty homes and cars and clothes and things of that nature and and one attracted to the other, you know, the guy attracted to the girl, the girl attracted to the guy. Like that's a handsome man, that's a beautiful girl. Those things relate to the soulless realm. But the spirit was only designed, created for God. And if you don't know how to balance yourself, you're gonna become I find so many unbalanced people. It's like they look at what you have on and crazy 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 stuff you can't do that so let me just say this here first of all i want to just say you know to all my supporters you know thank you all so much because we have a long way to go <laughs> and and once you get the true knowledge of being a christian or being a believer it's going to make your world better and everybody else's world better and it's going to stop you from being so miserable looking down on your children because come on it's just so much it's ridiculous you know so that's why I'm so grateful that God graced me with this task because he knew that if I went back down and you, you're not backing down either not when you know what is truth but what made Christians so hypocritical all the things that you look out at and see one does you behind the curtain doing it no 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 you have to understand that there are boundaries and and their territories you know their boundaries you could almost say guidelines guidelines yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and what you gotta understand too that you know, you understand too through by reading that book that you're governed not by the law you're governed yeah. by the spirit 
you know, go govern is a simple, I mean, rule over. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit tells you, you know, pull, like that, pull that dress down, girl. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. But, but your spirit always to rule because spirit is prioritized. It's spirit, spirit, soul, body, not soul, spirit, body. But I'm, I'm so grateful to have this task at the same time, you know, it, you, <laughs> You get you, you, you get tired, you know, because you know that's 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 your work. When I say work, work, but it's to glorify the Lord and see His kingdom. And then the people that understands how they begin to get on board and support and network with you and like, hey, you know, hey, let's get this thing done. Let's get it done. Because everybody needs to know that that God loves all of you all. God hates everybody sin, but God loves you. You know, you're not putting your daughter out because in fact she got pregnant out of way a lot. Really? Really? I mean, how many times you slept around about grace, you just didn't get caught. You know, that's the thing about it, right? That could be, you know, mm -hmm. if you don't get caught. But if, as, long, as long as you feel like you're not caught, then you keep doing it, yeah. that stuff. You, you know what I'm saying? You all right. And you think you're all right. And, 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 and entitles you. You think that it gives you the entitlement yep. upon pointing your judge. finger. A judging other people you can't do that you cannot do that and guess what i'm gonna by the grace of god i mean i'm gonna stand for the truth as long as god graces me now breath in my body I, I will stand for the truth so that everybody will understand it's okay it's okay to enjoy the things see god wants you to be not just okay spiritually he wants you to be okay naturally too god gave us this it's a balance you know god god just don't want you to enjoy the spirit realm only he wants you to enjoy the things of the earth as well, but it goes back to the boundary part of it. Yeah. But the main thing is that I just want to say, you know, hey, I love you from my heart, and thank you all for those prayers and support. And we've been gone since Thursday. It's just so much, it's just so much, and I'm so happy. You know, I'm happy because of the fact I see that. It's making change. I was just going to say that. It's yeah, affecting change. people. It's affecting people. In a positive way. In a positive way. White, black, rich, poor. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to say this to you before I let you go. Because I talked about it a little bit. You know, the consumption. Because if I, you know, whatever I partake of, whatever, whatever I consume, it becomes part of me. And if I consume negative, negativity then that's the only thing I'm going to be able to relate to or to release or to release oh release my god oh my god and can you oh, oh releasing that type of spirit mm -hmm. on others let me take authority over that in Jesus name but no you know, be careful and don't be afraid to step out and do what God called you to do no matter what it is don't you be afraid Yes, sir. Yeah. You must know what I had in my pocket. <laughs> God bless you, sweetheart. Huh? I got some bunch of dirty clothes. We've got laundry. Yeah. That's nice. Seven dollars a load to wash and dry. Yeah. What? I got like seven loads. Yeah. Oh my God! Well, that a, that's a start. I take, but you know, that's a start. Thank you so much. You're uh, welcome. You, so, I think I have some here too. No, she was recording. That's why. I yeah. told her for the whole that's, I, I wasn't second. ignoring you. I was here. No, I didn't mean, record. That's why I say. Hold well, on. Tell me, come on my side too. Come on. Yeah, she said. Come around there. She. I think I have some. Yeah, I have some change for this. I have. Where's the change at? Yeah, hold on. Just baby ask I'm coming, baby. Yeah, there's nothing worse I'm than coming. Asking someone and they just no, walking, no, like, no, no, no. They ignore you, huh? No, 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 no. Yeah, like I, no, that's okay. Come on, let me just pray with you before we do this. Okay. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, there's no strangers when it comes to you, Father, being glorified. Lord, I ask you to bless my brother, actually to keep him, cover him, Lord. I ask you, Lord God, to hide him in the shadow of your wings. May the blessings and the grace and the favor of the Lord be upon my brother. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we call it done in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. God bless you, my love.
God bless you. Thank you so much for You're very welcome, darling. Love you. Yeah, I appreciate it. You're very welcome. I'm sure God loves you too. He's so sweet, sweetheart. I'm still trying to find him. I haven't. But he's in your heart. Uh, you know the oh, Bible the Bible yeah, said in Romans ten and nine. Like a lot of the it's like prayer is not a wish list. No, it's no, not it's, a it's wish a list. Right, it's a conversation. There you go, prayer. But you know the Bible said you just come listen to this now. The Bible said you confess with your mouth the belief from your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. The Bible said automatically you're saying. If there ever was a sinner. Which, which, which we all. I mean, all of us. All of us play. need grace. All of us. All of us. Just consider it. All of us need play. grace. I'm like one foot in and one foot out. There's, I, I believe a lot of science in it. I, I'm a non-believer, but then there's too much that science that can't explain. No, science can't explain because of the faith. Who can you explain I mean? Jehovah? I'm, 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 well, just, give, I'm torn. Give me a hug. Right. Give me a hug. Come power. on, give me a hug. Thank you so much. Love. So when you, so that love, love lets you know he does exist. Y'all are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you too. God What's bless you, sweetheart. Jeff. 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 Yes, ma'am. I, right, yeah. I, I love you, Jeff. I love you, Jeff. I love you. I love my love. You say it around, fool. Thank you, Jeff. I'm, I'm, I'm You're so sweet. Having a better day than I was yesterday. That's, there you go. Yes, God. There you go. That's it. You're so, you're so sweet, Jeff. But I promise you, just keep the faith in Christ and God already has prepared to make the way for you. Just believe. Yeah, but I'm, uh, I don't know. I, I, I want to have the Bible study before the church. Otherwise, I'd be wrong to walk in there. No, you will not. No, see, because we're no, the church. No. We're the body that he dwells yeah. in. No. What is the point of Bible study, though? To understand, to, un to, under to understand the knowledge and the mind of the Lord, because nobody knows the mind of the Lord except by the power of the Holy Spirit, right. who gave mankind, you know, the wisdom and the so knowledge. To never, what would you tell someone that they never opened the Bible and started believing or reading? But Where do they start? About what you told me earlier. With their life or prayer. With their Remember you said prayer is conversation? Yeah. And as as you begin to conversate with the Father, you God, there you go. Him. It's just that simple. And you see, if you seek him, I promise you, Peter, Peter the apostle said it like this. He said that once you you just seek the Lord. He said that then once you experience the presence of the Lord, oh my God, you're gonna be flipping and jumping ropes like I didn't know that he oh my God, yes, he's real, he's real, but he is so real. And as you seek him, he said you will find. And when you know, listen. Just believe. It's not something. Just want, believe. You know? Yeah, just believe. Just believe. I am. I would be proud to be a Christian or a bat, you know, whatever it is I believe in. But I, I wouldn't flaunt it. That's, no, you know, don't like flaunt it. No, you don't flaunt it. To, to, to pray in the privacy there you of go. Because right? it's from the heart. Yeah, it's from the heart, it's baby. Not for others or what they think of it. Mm -mm. God it's not. Serves. God sees the heart. The truth, I love right? you. You're so sweet. The truth and the I love you, darling. But well, we know that, listen, the I, the guilty, I just, you know, my, my prayer today for you is that you experience the presence of the living God beyond measure of your imagination because the mind can, can't even fathom or understand Him. Like, did He die for our sins or yeah. He died? He died it's for hours. Was... To take on what would... Yeah, he died. You know what I'm saying? Like... How, how, how about this? The blood of Jesus is so powerful, it took care of your past, your present, and your tomorrow. And so he's... It's already it's a... written and, and done in his eyes and, and we will always end up in being what we're meant to be? Or does each day allow us to control that vehicle that takes right, us? Because, because it's like we're free will agents and we have choice. Yeah. But, you, but God got you, darling. That's why he has to stop. You know, we, 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 it, it's so like many, uh, we're not just here to just get. I don't know. No, no, no. You don't need all of that. That's attention. You don't need all that. Right, right, right. In a good way. In a good way. Yeah, yeah. Got you. Got you. That's God drawing you, Mr. Joe. Yeah, to like him. a magnetic. Yeah. It is. It's like you right. It's like this is where you're drawing you to him. See how that? See how God? Like a magnetic yeah, like a, a, a magnetic. Yeah, he just like says, I wouldn't cool. go to church because you told me I should start going to church. It's because I feel a that pull, something that pulling in your in your spirit. Not, you know, 
but remember now, keep this in mind. We're the church. We're, we're, we're God lives in human. We are the right the now. Now we go to what you call us uh, uh, an, an assembly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we don't have to go. But I love you so much. All right. I love you so much. Thank God, may so the angel of the Lord I'm keep guarding you. You too. You too, I'm sweetheart. Glad I love you. I'm glad I met you. You too. God bless you, my God love. Bless. I'll see you around. All right, I'll love. Around, say, hey. say hello to we you. We will. And you shall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love you. We got to go, but we love you so much, my love. I love you. You are too sweet. <laughs> and that's ministry. See what you just saw? That's ministry right there. And it's not always pretty. Everybody be wanting like, use me, Lord, use me, Lord. But they want God to use them, you know, with all the pretty stuff. No. No. Can you go through that storm and remain, you know, in the faith? You know what I'm saying? Can you go through difficult things in life and still remain in your faith? Yeah, see, that's what it's all about. See, God said it like this, Cookie. You said he allowed adversities, you know, to test the strength of your faith. You know, so you won't be backing down when stuff get heated and tough you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna tell you like this here cookie the other night the lord just awakened me out of my just awakened me out of my sleep he started talking about millionaire status and the reason why i know he said millionaire status because of the fact it, it take everything god calls to do cause call us to do it take, it take finances to travel to travel the world and you all i mean every support that that you are grace yeah you, you just, I don't have words to say, but to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, as God uses you all to help contribute, and everything matters. And every, every, you matters, everybody matters, everything you do matters. Put it like that. But then, and then he said to me, he said, listen, to God getting ready to celebrate a lot of us. He said, I'm celebrating you. Something's getting ready to happen, and, and it's going to take you over. And it is very, very, very powerful and effective. Because the Lord said it like this to me. He said, he said, let me tell you something. The prophecy of, of the old, meaning in the past, he said, past prophecies been done. Like whatever trouble or whatever it is that you've gone through in life, he said, that's done. Because many things, you know, you've gone through or you dreamt about or, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So leave it back there. Le leave it back there. That's, God said, that's done. He said, but now get ready to embrace the, the, the newness. Of what he's getting, I mean, he's doing it right now. He's just gonna take it to a different level. You know what? When I say levels, you have, you have levels, you have realms, you have dimensions. It, it's like the Lord, you're like, Lord, the Lord God graced me to have that wisdom to know that He lived beyond the, you know, the universe. His existence, should I, yeah, is beyond this universe. So, you say, I love you from. From, from the moon and back. No, I want uh -uh, no, none. Uh -uh. Give me everything, Lord. Mm -hmm. Not just the moon. But just want to tell you that, like, hey, take that and and be mindful. Be mindful of what you allow, you know, yourself to consume. Because if you're around negativity and all misery, you know, misery, love, come, don't do, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Get away. Get away from it. Because God can't achieve what He wants to achieve through you. He needs you. To get this job done you need you you need me and you need you to get this job done and on this journey you know you meet all kinds of people mm -hmm. you meet all kinds of people and that's the good thing about it but you're sharing the lord everywhere you go remember you could go so one of my books okay. that one see this gonna change your life forever guarantee it would change you all i get tongue-tied i do really i get tongue-tied sometimes i used to stutter you know and my mom my mom used to pop me in my mouth pop start over with the dish towel i said but, 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 mama pop start over <laughs> like man i got so tired of getting popped in the mouth your brain is going so it's, fast it's, and you're yeah, trying, trying, trying to what's catch up going with, on with, with your brain <laughs> you know it's, you know moses the bible says yeah, yeah, yeah you know it's a stutter you know but anyway yeah that's why you would see me sometime like trying to kind of get these words uh -huh. out i don't want nobody really know that yeah. well, look. <laughs> well 
It's out there now. It's out there now. <laughs> it don't stop but we love you all so, so, so much. Just really, really love you. But you yeah, gotta get this book. And when you and when you get don't don't get one. Get get several. Get get a hundred get a hundred of these bad boys to help people be free and to live their life to the highest expectation that there's no limit. God got you. God loves you. And you don't know anything else. Just know he loves you. He loves you. And don't allow, don't, don't allow no negative, no negativity of no, no such kind. This is my credit card. Be around you. You know, just keep pushing that love out there. I don't care. I don't care. Doc, doc, you don't have to open your mouth. Just keep pushing that love with that smile. Keep pushing that love with that hug. Keep pushing that love and telling somebody, I love you. Keep pushing that love and like, you know, if they need your help and you can help them, help them. Keep, keep pushing it. I swore to you, it's cooking. We have experienced so many things. Mm -hmm. And that's a team behind what all. It's like, you got Gladys, you got Al, you got Terry, you got Eric, you got. I could get myself. I'm not doing all this by myself. That that's just that's just the team alone. Minister Love is your biggest is, is my biggest supporters besides all the other people and companies and you know y'all don't do you understand how grateful I am? Jesus Christ, you know? People don't have to show you love and support you, but when they do, you should let them know how grateful you are. But once again, this book here. TVN uh, Publishing Company Trilogy. Am I right, baby? Yes. Good. Yeah, TVN Publishing Company Trilogy. Publish, publish this book. You can go get it. Amazon, you can go trilogy.com. You know, yeah, even if you're going to call TVN yourself, you've got to get this book. This book. And and, 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 I'm, and the main thing is this cookie that they, gotta, they must understand mm -hmm. that because you are saved, babies. If I could just get them to get that, get that little piece right there. That concept. That concept. Yeah, just because of the fact you're saved. You know, God just throw the soul away, didn't it? All right, break it down like this here. You can't be all spiritual in a natural world. Now let's see it right there. Can't be all spiritual in a natural world. Once you, once you get that concept, you, oh, you would be so free. Oh my God. God, you would be so free. You'd be like, oh, so I can, I can, so I can do this. I can do that. That means that now you you you're realizing that you're not under the law anymore. Right. That you're under grace. You gotta get it. Thank you. I'm telling you for the great network that God is doing. Great people. God has blessed me to be part of my life. I don't know what to say, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. Heart from the bottom of my heart. But I need you all to know that this is so true. When God said about um, I mean, when He said that we're consumption, because of the fact we are whatever we're allowed to be taken in, right? I'm not saying that correctly. Like they say you are what you eat. You are, yeah, you're right too. You are what you consume. Yeah, whatever you consume, then that's what you become. That's what you become. If you consume all that bad energy and all, all kind of stuff, I just hate to use anything that's so evil. I hate evil. I hate the devil. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. I love you all so much. We in route now to one more area and after that I'm looking to be home. But I do want you to know that the Lord literally said it. He said, listen up. The past prophecies that's in the past. I mean, you've know, seen a lot of things happen in your life. In your life that hurted you along the way so much to happen you know what i'm saying because now i want you to awaken to the new prophecy of the newness the refreshing uh then it's like the in in light can i say the word enlightening yeah like enlightenment. enlightenment i like enlightening too i'm human just like you okay <laughs> And, and guess what? Anybody who don't, who can't stand to be corrected, that's pride. You don't want that spirit around you either. Constructive criticism is real good for all of us. But I love you so much. I'm gonna have to let you go. Really, really, really. I just want to come on and just tell you all a little. Up, try to give you updates and where we are and what's going on, and letting you know that your labor's not in vain and 
looking forward to work with all the people you know that we're networking with but I love you, love you so, so, so much, so much. Sometimes I be so energetic, and then that's when you ask you, we can go cookie. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I love you all so much. I gotta go, my babies. I love you all so dearly. Oh my God. I'll put the glasses on because I'm just, my eyes can change every time. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's a good tire. All right, Minister of Love. You know, I'll see you all in the house tomorrow. And if you don't have a church home, you know, and you just want to come and fellowship, do so, you know. Ministry of Love, right there in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I forget. 1129 South, South Tamari. Drive. Drive. Yeah. So just, you know, just come on and fellowship. Just the Lord just bless your little horse. Okay, I'm going to have to go, my babies. All right, I did something wrong here. I don't know how to cut it off now. I love y'all so much. I'm trying to get off, babies. How can I get it off quickly? Come on, look. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did.